能力を開示します対象個体が覚醒進化しますこのくらい当然じゃなうんいささか拍子抜けじゃな神としても。うん、良いではない。スキルを最終進化させます。最終進化に成功しました。All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime Isekai Memories video. So, today we have the Luminous Valentine Showcase, the new Luminous that literally just came out.、Um, I have her fully, I got one dupe in her. If you didn't watch my summon video, then、uh, I would. Recommend go watching it because my luck was pretty insane in that video. But、um, I have her at level 104. I have her fully, I'm、um, just gonna lag, fully maxed out. I have her skills fully maxed out.、Um, I have just basic six star equipment at the moment because I figured I'll just use the basic stuff and then I'll upgrade it later.、Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be、um, taking her around, utilizing.、Uh, Her utility, like all over the place, trying to see、um, how good of a character she is. Now, on paper, I think she seems like a really good,、um, really good unit. Now, one of her things, like her, her unique sort of skill, is the Rapturous Rose. So, what this allows you to do is you can use a protection skill that costs zero of the gauge for、um, that turn once, and it increases all souls' protection gauge increase by 10%. And it's only available when you have、uh, one bar of,、um, of the protection gauge, and you can only use it once per battle. So, her,、um, her main shtick is this right here.、Um, that's like her big selling point. She basically allows you to get a free、um, protection like, gauge. So, she's really useful for stacking. So, if you're trying to use her in like a stacking battle,、um, You can use her in shorter fights because if you're using someone like Hakuro or Shizue or Toa or like the new Frey or, or I guess kind of old Frey that came out last month,、um, you basically get two,、uh, two full bars of their protection gauge when you only have one.、Um, to be fair, the skill costs a lot, so you do need to kind of build around it and play and like set up so that you can utilize it properly.、Um, but Yeah, this is her main selling point.、Um, aside from this, her other skill, Red Rosy Tease. So she increases the physical attack of Warrior's Mind and Octogram Demon Lord Force characters by 50% for one turn.、Um, and then she lowers crit resistance of all targets by an additional 40% after eight turns from the start of battle. So, similar to、um, Shinsha, right? Where Shinsha had the buff and it, it gave extra. Like an extra amount of attack after eight, eight turns.、Um, so you can utilize her in a,、um, in a longer fight as well.、Um, the skill is a little limiting considering it's only Warrior's Mind and Octogram Demon Lord.、Um, but when you run her with those force characters, especially if one of them is your main damage dealer, like New Guy,、um, she basically enables them to do、uh, a lot, a lot of damage. Um, her Valor trait is if you use a soul when the enemy has a, a full alt gauge,、um, she decreases it by 10%, um, decreases all their alt gauges by 10% for、uh, once per battle. And then her normal trait when you unleash a six combo attack with Soul Divine Protection, she increases her own attack by 5% for the next turn. So, yeah,、um, we're gonna be taking her around.、Um, she also has an AoE alt. And we're gonna see how well she does. So, first,、um, 
let's just take her into conquest. All right, so we're gonna be taking Luminous into um, into the uh, space conquest extreme difficulty. Um, I don't actually know how well this is gonna work, um, but we're using the new Valzard. Um, I have Carry On and Rimuru here for orb changing. The masked hero, the light one, I have her here um, just to build up the uh, the EX alt. Um, realistically, she that's she doesn't really work too well because she changes it to green, but that's why I have Rimuru here. Um, and then obviously Luminous, and then we have the hero here um, just for her uh, rewind and then her crit rate buff and all that. So yeah, let's just um, go right into it. Um, you can see I, her attack stat is like kind of low, um, like in comparison. So she should be doing a lot of damage, especially with the stacking. Um, this might not be the best stage in the world because uh, we will get burst down pretty quickly, I think. Okay, this kind of sucks. Um, well, I am going to swap you out. And um, should I just do that? Oh God, I'm not. I'm swapping you out. And we're just gonna send those first. Okay, wow, we're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> we might kill her before she even does anything. Ow. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Milam. I'm also gonna pop the rewind. Alright, so we're gonna do this. So we're gonna get two stacks of. Um... Oh wow, I'm already doing 5,000. 5,700, and this. 11. We're gonna kill her already. Oh my god. Alright, we are going to do this. I'm just gonna skip that for now. And then also gonna pop this. I'm gonna swap you out and swap you out. Um, do I want to just send these? Uh, yeah, we'll just send those. Okay, she guards. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ow. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'll swap you in for you. Alrighty. So we're, we might not even get the ultimate, but you can already see the damage is already racking up in terms of the stacking. Oh, nice guard. Okay. Okay. That's worrisome. Um, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pop this. So we're gonna pop this and look at this. Alright, and then we can do this. Get another attack buff. And then we get to do this as well. So we basically get two stacks for free. We get an extra stack for free. Um, yeah, Carrion's probably dead. Um, but... This is just for the one turn. Oh my god. Jesus, okay. Um, I'm just gonna send these... And then... Okay, yeah, Karen said. And Rimuru's. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh god, go, go right. Okay, that's fine. Yes, give me the ultimate. Oh, are you done? Oh my god. You know what? Oh, okay. Well, I guess this works out. So we're gonna see it. We have how many stacks? Um, we have her increased attack by 68%, um, and then crit rate, crit damage by 9% as well. So, and she gets the 50% damage buff. So let's see just how much she does. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. 8,000, and then. Oh, 
なかなか美しいではないか52000 not bad not bad at all God, she, she just looks so good. Um, all right, so that wasn't the smoothest run in the world uh, by a long shot, but um, I feel like we kind of got to see, obviously, um, how much damage like she does just in general. Um, she just does a lot of damage straight out front. Um, we also got to see her protection skill. Now, um, I guess I'll just take her into like a random, maybe like a crucible stage or something. Um, and we'll see if we can just get like stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks and see how well she does there. All right, so we're going to be taking this team into um, Tempered Edge, the space one meant for a space 2.0. And I'm going to be using the space 2.0 team. I found that um, this team uh, works the best for this specific uh, Tempered Edge. And I'm putting um, Belzard as the support using uh, 2.0 guy. Space 2.0 guy. And then I have Misery there just for the green orb buff. Um, I have the hero obviously for rewind, and she's also going to do damage because she has an AoE alt. Um, guy is here, the new guy, um, for damage. And um, yeah, because he's an or is an alt buffer as well. Um, I, I felt like, sure, I'll just like throw him on. Um, I could have used someone like. Uh, Dark Millum, but that she wouldn't be getting any buffs from any of these characters. So, uh, yeah, I maybe could have used, um, I was going to say maybe Shuna, but that wouldn't really work. And then, um, I don't know, out of all the, all the alt buffers, I felt that guy was the best. And also he buffs physical attack with that skill. So, um, everyone will be doing more damage. We obviously have, um, Luminous, the main star of the video, and then we have Leon here just for more damage. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going uh, right into it. Now this stage, I haven't played this stage in a long time, and I honestly forgot how difficult um, and, or like how long it was and how tedious it can be. Um, so this video is going to be like long, but this fight's going to be long. But um, we got an interesting hand uh, here. I just popped the misery buff, and I figured I'm just gonna swap Luminous in for the hero because there's so many orbs, and we also have another orb coming in. Um, and originally, I thought uh, I, I thought if I remember correctly, I was supposed to target Dino, but then later on, um, I realized I'm just gonna target Luminous because she does all the healing. So Dino gives them the attack buffs, I think, um, but. Or he gets one of the, the binds or the one attack buff, I don't remember. But here I pop the um, orb change. Now this one, I forgot that... Uh, I forgot his was two green and one orange, so I miscalculated. But it got us enough for the um, the guy ult gauge. And I didn't actually use uh, Luminous' protection skill in this one, just because I had so little points. Um, but here we pop it. Now I have her ult. I pop the buff again. And... Getting this should give me another guy and get us closer to that EX alt and max skill points. Um, so now here I'm targeting, uh, I'm gonna be targeting Luminous. And then we're doing decent damage, like 5,300, and then this hits for 11,000. So it's not bad. And here I have Misery, the bind is wearing off as well. And then hit. Right. Um, here, I believe I swap Misery out for Leon because of all the Misery orbs. Pop this to get the EX ult with Luminous. And then, um, luckily, there's a green orb coming up. So, here. Uh, I believe I pop the rewind here, actually, because I can build the ult as well. Um, I don't know why I'm just pausing here. But we have 100 skill points, so we're guaranteed to get uh, a full. 100 skill points again, so I'm just using whatever skills I can. So use the rewind and use Leon's debuff. Send the full hand, gives us another guy and also 45 points, so we're back at max. And then doing decent damage with Leon. Um, I don't really use Leon, um, I don't use a 2 space point on team that often, um, but it is a fun team. Right? And then rewind happens, and then here I pop guy again. Um, now we're close to having two Leon alts, 
And here I figured I'll just pop the, the crit rates go because I feel like it's kind of a waste right now if I don't use any. Um, not really the best type of thinking, but um, I was like, eh, whatever. So here we send a full hand, still targeting this. So close to a guy, but um, now we have everyone's ult. And then we send those. So it's going to do big damage. Luminous is like half HP and everyone's is like full. So... Yeah, we have two alts with Leon, we have one with Guy, and then she heals herself a lot, so she's basically at full health again. Um, here I pop Guy's skill, and then um, I bring in Luminous here. Kind of a mistake, uh, but I mean, it's three AoE alts with a debuff, so I figured um, mine as well. Um, I honestly should have sent Luminous this first, just because she gives the guard penetration. And that would have been pretty useful here. But here we do decent damage, 32,000. And this I watch because I haven't seen this in a while. But Leon should also do pretty good damage with the crit rate and also the um, the 80% alt damage buff. Such a nice ult. And then 30,000. And then we get Guard Pen. And then Moon does 66,000. Decreases their uh, physical attack resistance as well. We get smacked a bunch. Luckily, Luminous doesn't get hit by that, but Leon does. And yeah, now we have another Leon alt. Um, I have enough points for that, so I'm just gonna send it as well. Oh, guy. And we're just gonna send this full hand. Um, this one, I decided to focus Milum a bit because I was hoping that uh, Leon's alt would kill Luminous. I, in on all honest, honesty, I should have just targeted Luminous and gotten her out of there, but she still survives. And yeah, so now we take more damage. I have one more ult. I still have Guy's ult as well, um, but I'm gonna be bringing Luminous out of here. And then I believe I bring Misery in. And I just send the green orbs. Or yeah, I just send the hero orbs get get us a guy uh, alt guy gauge, and obviously this does ten thousand damage, not that great. Um, hero wax into her. Now we have um, hero alt, so we have three alts up. Um, now hero hero gets stunned, and that I was like, oh boy, she got stunned, um, and I don't want misery to die, so I'm gonna bring guy in for misery. Um, so that's gonna allow us to one save her from dying. Also, uh, even though I'm gonna be bringing in another alt orb and I only have four orbs to work with, um, I can just pop Guy as well and then get more skill points to get Guy's buff. Because basically, once we get that, then it's game over, right? We're gonna be doing a lot of damage and fish and getting off. So here, I just send them straight into the level because the other two are in, in the red. Um, doing decent damage, and then now we're all set. Uh, also, I didn't realize that guy got his ult, like his 200% ex ult, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, obviously, swap the Leon ult, bring, um, I believe, yeah, bring Luminous in, and then I just pop the guy's buff, so we get the crit rate and also the ult buff. And then I just send the ultimates, and I send it on Luminous because she has the most health. Um, and then the other orbs, just in case she doesn't finish. Luminous finishes them off, and then Guy finishes off uh, Luminous, and Hero does the last hit. So overall, I think a pretty good showing, um, just in terms of damage as well, um, and just how well the space team kind of works, even 2.0 and I guess 3.0 now. Um, it just works really well, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, Luminous, honestly, is a really good unit. Um, I think she's really good, she's really useful. Um, I love using her. She looks really good. <laughs> I don't know, I can keep going on and on about how much I, I enjoy this unit and how much I love um, the team for making her, like, the main... Um, I guess the main unit of this celebration with her unique sort of skill set. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know down below if you guys were able to pull Luminous, um, if there's anything you change about her, um, if you like her or not. Uh, and yeah, 
that's pretty much it thank you all for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next one peace